Welcome to part 53 of our Shadowbringers Let's Play. Last time we completed Shadowbringers and defeated Hades, uh, but that just seems to have brought up a whole lot of other questions. One thing we know is that Black Rose is no longer a problem for the source, uh, so we should be able to take at least a little bit of a breather here in Eorzea, which Chaja has returned to. Um, we do, however, know that Xenos appears to be a problem, and Elidibus may be as well. So who knows? We might see more Warriors of Light and Darkness from Elidibus, more chaos over at the first, where the rest of the Scions and Graha are still stuck. Uh, but let's go talk to Tataru and see where the story takes us. Tataru seems eager to make up for lost time. Ooh, and all the food. Cha-cha, gods, it's good to see you. I hope your being here means you've had your fill of rest. Oh my gosh, like... <laughs> I guess we had a bit of a rest here, but... Man, we could probably rest forever with all we've encountered in our lives. More than my fill, not so much as 40 winks, truth be told. Uh, I, I feel like she probably had some time to, uh, to get a good rest. Well, you've certainly earned it. Not much has happened since your last visit. I had planned for you to meet that helper I told you about, but he refuses to answer his link pearl. I do hope he's all right. Ooh, I wonder who the helper is. Is our first quest going to be to go find them? We've been exchanging messages with the Eorzean Alliance throughout, though. They say the fighting has finally stopped at the Gimlet Dark, and that the Empire's shown no sign of movement. Which means you might actually have a moment to ourselves for a change. Seeing as you're back, maybe you could tell me more about your time in the first? Oh my gosh. Do you have the entire day? Great. Oh, and if you don't mind, I'd like to ask Lahaman to join us. She'll want to know what happened to Minfilia, and I think it's best she hears it from you. We'll meet you on the terrace at the House of Splendors. This is where I think it is, right? Yes. I have not been to uh, Mordana in quite a while. I'll zoom out. I'll zoom way in for all the Lala chats. Oh, maybe they're not right, right there. They're in here. Up still more. I definitely don't know my way around here. This is nice. Look at this little terrace. So nice. Cha cha, my, it has been too long. Tataru did mention that I would be joining you, did she not? Thank you. Words cannot well express how I have longed to know more of the first. This world Minfilia has sacrificed so much to save. But come, rest your feet. Tataru should be arriving shortly. So peaceful. Perfect place for a cup of tea. And so Minfilia chose to pass on her gifts to the Nets Oracle, this girl who Thangrid named Reen. Mm. To have such a burden thrust upon her as a child, only to embrace it when given the choice. In that respect, they're quite alike. It would seem her legacy is indeed in capable hands. Cha-cha, might I ask a favor of you when next you return to the first? To tell Reen what I cannot? To tell her thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Because this is Minfilia's mother, right? And I would offer thanks to you as well for staying with her to the end. Begging your pardon, but could I have a word? Who's this? 
I don't know you. Real? I hope you're here to tell me you've received word from our helper. I wish. Nay, I've not had a peep out of him, and it's been a good long while now, too bloody long. On account of which, I'm going to sneak over the border and see if I can't get a signal to him from closer up. But what if they catch you? There must be another way. Well, it ain't as if we can ask Thancred to do it. Besides, I shouldn't have no trouble picking me way through Gimlet now the fightin's died down. Gods know there's enough shadows to hide in. Ooh, are we going to Garlemald's? We've never been to Garlemald. And it be waiting around here, twiddling me thumbs. Any road, I just thought I'd let ye know. Now, I'd best be... Ach, I nearly forgot. Kryle's at the stones, and she wants a word. Oh, we haven't seen Kryle in a while either. Something to do with the patients. She was getting ready to examine them again when I left. Oh, is something going on with them? I mean, it could be like a year already. In, uh, in the first. We'd best head back then. I'm sure it's important. Mm-hmm. All right, and we've got little Graha here. I felt like Graha wanted to travel with the Warrior of Light, so, or at least I think so. So we're gonna bring them along as a minion. I feel like Kryle will probably be happy to know that the uh, the twins are okay. It seems she's still examining them. Oh, I do hope it's nothing bad. You're here. Good. What's going on? Oh my gosh, I love all the Lala's together. This makes me so happy. So, how are they? Still locked in slumber, but otherwise in good physical health. <laughs> well, that's good. I was also worried. For the present, at least. What? What's that mean? For the present? Oh no, is something wrong with them? I'm afraid there may be. I summoned you after detecting faint signs of instability in Thancred's corporeal ether, but subsequent examination suggested all five might be affected. And when I examined them just now, my fears were confirmed. Oh, is this because Thancred and... Reen decided to go out into the area with the corrupted ether because they were worried about how that would affect them, right? Tellingly, the degree of instability varies between them. Thancred exhibits the most notable signs, followed by Yushtola and Urianje. The twins' ether, meanwhile, remains relatively stable, but there is a change there too if one knows to look for it. Hold on. Isn't that the order they were called away in? Yes. Indeed. Which leads me to believe the instability will only increase with time. So we've got to move quick for Thancred. Though I can but speculate, I fear this may be a symptom of a weakening link between body and soul. By the gods! What happens if the link is broken? I don't know, Tataru. Kryal, can you I cannot say for certain. This is all unknown territory to us. Yet whatever happens, it cannot be good. Yeah, that was a loud car. Thanks, Zelda. Mercifully, the instability is still only slight. And you may rest assured, Master Matoya and I will do everything in our power to keep it from worsening. Be that as it may, it is imperative that you find a way to restore our friends' souls to their bodies. Okay, so that's gonna be, I guess, our first order of business. Uh, leave it to me, no rest for the righteous? Yeah, leave it to me. I mean, Thank they you. didn't stop trying to help us when we were potentially destroying a whole world with corrupted ether, so we're not gonna stop 
looking for a cure for them before that link breaks. But where's she even supposed to start? We had the greatest minds in the realm hunting high and low for an answer, and they ran out of places to look. <gasps> Can we go to the Crystal Tower? Is Argraha still there? You stated in your report that the Exarch had originally intended to reverse the summoning process by means of his own death, correct? Raha always was a reckless young fool, ready to die for the first righteous cause that came along. <gasps> Krayal does Raha? His plan might well have worked, but I for one am glad he never had the opportunity to see it through. Even if it does mean our friends must remain stranded a while longer. That's interesting. I wonder how they know each other. There is another way, I am sure of it. And the key lies with him, with the Exarch. Pray return to the first and apprise him and the others of the situation. Okay, we're going back already. We, meanwhile, will do what we can from here. And, if the fates are kind, we will have good news to share upon your return. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the first. Uh... I wonder how long it's been. for them. Ah, Cha-Cha, you're returned. I hope your time in the source was suitably restful. But of course it wasn't. Go on. Their corporeal ether shows signs of instability by the gods. The possibility never even occurred to me. If you have returned in the hope that my research has yielded a solution, I fear you will be sorely disappointed. Tis but a mercy we have the likes of Mistress Kryle and Master Matoya to keep our friends' bodies safe while we wrestle with the problem. But they cannot forestall the separation of body and soul indefinitely. Come, the others must be told. Yeah, their vacation the first is is coming to an end, I think. Where's Ariange? And thank her, Adam Reen. Pray excuse my late arrival. Will Thancred and Reen not be joining us? Mm-hmm. Nay, my lady. With apologies to all, they beg leave to pursue their investigation of the Empty to its conclusion. Should matters here demand their presence, however, they did assure me that they would make themselves available. Yes, of course. Then let us proceed. I, I think it best that you begin by providing a summary of Mistress Kryle's findings. Yeah, I think they'd like to know, but... They really need to get back to their bodies soon. I suppose it was only to be expected that some change would occur. Yet our souls seem unaffected, to my eye at least. How long they will remain so is another question. Kryle is right. It is imperative we find a way to return to the source. If anybody can figure it out, I feel like it's Ishtola and Ariange. Perhaps an explanation of the method by which I brought you here will yield some inspiration. Ere I begin, it must be noted that I am by no means a gifted mage. In order to employ powerful magics, I must rely upon the Crystal Tower and its boundless reservoirs of energy. 
The magic that summoned you was no exception. It is a singular spell, adapted through painstaking effort from the technique that transported me to the first. To use an analogy, it works by cutting a hole in the fabric of reality. A hole tailored to the object of summoning, through which it and it alone may pass unscathed. Though I succeeded in creating said hole, I failed to latch onto my intended target. Instead of you, the spell found those close to you, and ended up summoning them in their incomplete state. Hmm. So could we summon them back from the source? If there's still a crystal tower there? I would not soon throw my life away. Not after the lengths you and yours went to save it. And so long as I breathe, I will spare no effort to see you safely home. But should all else fail, and your lives be at stake, there remains one sure method. <gasps> Don't even say it. You're not allowed to die. Smack him. No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> she, she totally did, dude. What was that for? <laughs> How can you even entertain such thoughts? You owe your life to the Warrior of Light, and you don't get to die unless she says so. You tell him, Alize. Your followers await your divine judgment. <laughs> what did followers. You If the two of you have finished, perhaps we could return to our discussion? Rather than dwelling upon the multiple failed attempts at transference, I think it would behoove us to focus on the solitary success. Mm -hmm. I would draw your attention to the fact that our friend can travel between worlds possessed not only of her body and soul, but her personal effects besides. That's true. This is no different from the teleportation magics to which we are all accustomed. Magics that allow for the transportation of those inanimate objects one considers to be an extension of oneself. Are you suggesting that simply by considering us her possessions, she could carry our souls back to the source upon her person? Huh. Well, it would be nice if things were that simple for a change. But vague notions of ownership seem a rather tenuous thing to stake our lives on. So much as a moment of doubt on her part and we'd be left floating in the rift. Or become one giant, like, eight-headed, I forgot how many scions there are, cha-cha. <laughs> All smushed together. Milady hath the right of it. The requisite fixity of belief would be too much to ask even of our friend. Yet were we to immure our souls within an object in oh. her possession, Mayhap then our safe passage could be assured. I'm glad they both made it White here. White Orisite would, together. I believe, serve as a suitable vessel for this purpose. It was conceived to imprison the massy soul of an Asian and should house one of ours with relative ease. We would need only to ensure our soul's safe preservation inside the stone and identify a means by which they might be transferred back onto our vacant bodies. Oh my gosh, everybody's learning this Asian magic of just being able to live on forever in different bodies. Soul preservation and transference. I believe I know of someone who may be able to assist us. Oh, who's that? On the far shore of the source, there stands a great palace built by the elves. Are we going to new places? It was forsaken in the wake of the flood, but a certain new Mo chose to make their home there soon after. Though they have long lived as a recluse, they once occupied a place of honor in Verbert's royal court, and it is said that none in all of Norvrant is more knowledgeable than they on matters of the soul. Hmm. Well, I've no objection to seeking a helping hand, but if they've gone to such lengths to hide themselves away from the world, what makes you think they'd be willing to lend us one? <laughs> a worthy question. 
Years ago, I myself tried and failed to solicit their cooperation in the battle against the Sin Eaters. No sooner had I begun to make my plea than they unleashed a swarm oh. of their familiars upon me. Unlike me, however, you have curried favor with the faithful. Oh, that's By true. By that merit alone, I am hopeful that they would grant you an audience. Yeah, I mean, all we have to do is tell the King of the Fae that they're not listening to us, <laughs> and they'll be right there to get them to help us out. They may still be inclined to turn you away, of course, but if their knowledge might feasibly facilitate your return home, we have to try. Let's do this. The Numo are cute, I believe. Numo. Okay, so what do we want? Uh, ooh, we got clothes. Oh, weapons. All right, oysters in a half shell. Let's grab some lemonade. Let's go check out our new weapon. Kind of interesting. Oh, the other one goes better with my outfit, though. Oh, it's not even a glamour, though. I can't. All right. Well, we're stuck here for now. <laughs> the Crystal Exarch would waste no time in seeking help for your stranded comrades. The Grand Cosmos, that is, the palace we seek stands on the opposite shore of the source, I'll arrange for a boat to carry us there. Whilst thou journeyest thither, I think it best that I devote mine energies to the creation of white orosite, by thy leave, of course. The process requireth no small amount of time, and should the new Mo consent to lend us their aid, we'll have need of a suitable vessel ere long. Agreed. Now I'd ask the rest of you to meet me in Sullen, and do be prepared for a warm reception. <laughs> We're going back to the place where we summoned our, our whale. so much more peaceful here now that there's not a calamity looming. At least not for the moment. How we doing, baby girl? Weed. Alright, I think it's still in the same level as us, so... Back on the road and see if we can't find the crystal X search. Oh, they're way down here. They were so tiny, I couldn't even see them. We're gonna travel by this cute little boat. Ooh. What's this music about? As I told you before, I had scarcely set foot on the palace grounds when I was set upon by our host's familiars, and I expect a reception today to be no different, which is why I propose we march through the main gate, weapons drawn. I'm sorry, but. Are we not here to petition for assistance? You can't honestly think barging in looking for a fight is going to persuade them, right? Like, I'm, I'm a palace on this. 
Actually, I believe the Exarch may have the right of it. Oh? They have no doubt poured a great deal of time and energy into their creations. Were I them, I should be most interested to meet with those who could overcome my defenses. I guess that's true. As would any true seeker of knowledge. And there's little we can say or do to convince them to help us if we know nothing of their character, nor less why they chose to hide themselves from the worlds. But if we can seize their interest, mayhap we can earn ourselves an audience. All right then. <laughs> Weapons drawn it is then. Is this gonna be our first duty? Though I must say, Exart, she certainly seemed to be enjoying all of this. Well, he always wanted to traipse along with heroes and he's been stuck in the tower, so it's gotta be a dream. Do I? Well, I will not deny that I enjoy the thought of fighting alongside you all rather than pacing about inside the crystal tower. You both seem to be in rather high spirits, if you ask me. Not that I'm surprised. Your moods invariably improve when Cha-Cha is around. <laughs> uh, what exactly are you implying? She averted a calamity, and the light which seemed destined to consume her has been extinguished. Tis only natural that we'd be pleased to see her, right? We thought she was gonna die. <laughs> like, she's alive. And herself. Yes, well, you will have plenty of time to celebrate her good health after we've finished here. Oh, of course. Then let us proceed to the palace. I want to see this Elven Palace. Oh, the Grand... Oh. Oh. Well, I was not ready for a new dungeon right at the start of the patches, but I guess here we are. Oh my gosh. I thought this was just gonna be like a regular instance duty, but here we are at the Grand Cosmos. Let's hope there's no crazy mechanics in this one, because I am not ready. of Yule more. Oh, did we lose a DPS? Yay! We got one back. I feel like this has been happening quite a lot lately. 
I like loaded into a dungeon with no healer the other day, <laughs> and we had to wait. Having too much fun doing holy and forgetting about other stuff. boss and we are not prepared so let's see what this one's like Oh, I'm slow. Can I assume I'm slow? No, you stay out of here. Nope. 
heck no. That would stop. Oh my gosh, I was just like getting pulled into a black hole. I thought I was gonna let everybody down. Pretty. Like, can you imagine living in this place? It's gorgeous. stuff when there's things Interesting looking. I like her. Oh, two last love. I guess you have to take Leanne and Steve out to another area when that happens.
I don't know. How do I... Can I drop the seed? Do, it, do I drop it? I don't know how to drop it. I should not try to be stuck in things. I'm the healer who's like always in the wrong spot. Today, I didn't study for this uh, particular event. Contessa, when she's done her Warrior of Light stuff, retire to this palace. Little paraport seeds are so cute. I love them. Ooh, that's for me. Oh, is there a feast in here? I would like to stop for a feast. out of the paintings.
is that the last of the ones from the, uh, the picture? Oh. Oh, everybody's having, like, a, a nice dance. I wonder if any of them are gonna jump out and attack. Oh. Do you have a cutscene? Oh, who are you? Oh, there's a piano. You have sullied these halls long enough. Come, Lugus. Our guests yet want for company. Oh, he's gonna stick his biggest beast on us, I think. Or her. It's basically like a... It's kind of like a...
now, so now is not the time. Do not pay attention to me. I feel like I worked for that one, at least in the last bit. <laughs> oh gosh. Is there. Do I even need anything? Yes. I'm so happy to have made it through that one. Yeah, we deserve applause. <laughs> that was my fiercest familiar. Oh, impressive. I'm glad that was the fiercest, because, I mean, that was harder than Hades. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a cute little puppy, people. Backlog, it is good to see you again after all these years. And judging by your vigorous greeting, I dare say the feeling is mutual. To be sure, a simple shake of the hand would have sufficed by way of welcome, but I shan't complain. But you must be wondering as to the purpose of our visit. We come to beg your assistance in a most urgent matter. Yeah, we need to get home. Sh shake <laughs> Beg? So cute. Our comrades' very souls are in danger. If we are to save them, we will need the benefit of your unsurpassed knowledge on the matter. Please, will you not sit and hear our plea? How dare you! How dare you speak thus in my presence! Yeah, don't tell me to say it. It was to escape such words of temptation that I hid myself from the world of men. You are sinners, one and all, and I swore never again to have any part in your affairs. I can only imagine what terrible events forced you into a life of seclusion. But I know that the new Mo are a good and noble folk. It is not in your nature to turn a blind eye to the plight of those around you. And in treating with us, I am certain whatever mistrust you feel for man will begin to... heal. These words are too much. If you will not be satisfied, oh, I oh, suppose I could listen. After all, there's no harm in just... No, 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 I mustn't. Not again. That damn court mage seemed to have the best of intentions too, and countless innocents died for my naivety. Oh, you know not what you ask of me. What horrors my knowledge has wrought. I'm curious. If you all you want, we won't lie down and accept defeat. We would never misuse it. Mm. 
lie down seems to, to go with the rest of the words we've been choosing. Oh, oh. Of all the visitors I could possibly have, they're even more stubborn than I am. Oh. No. Oh. Very well. I will hear your petition, but that is all. And I expect fitting payment for my troubles. I mean, we saved your world, so... Commensurate with your contribution to our cause. No more and no less, I promise you. With that settled, might I impose upon you to join us at the Crystarium? I'm afraid the nature of my friend's predicament calls for absolute secrecy. Oh my gosh, how long has it been since he's been around other people? I was really waiting for them to have to feed him <laughs> to get him to come, because I know that's what always works for my dog. All the trees. There you are. The others have gone ahead to the Crystal Tower with Becklug. For the record, I truly wish we hadn't had to resort to using such words when treating with them. I have ever sought to convince, not compel, yet I cannot deny that a part of me is glad Orianger shared his knowledge of the new mom with us. Had he not, Beck Lug wouldn't be here. Speaking of whom, we should hurry. To keep our guest waiting would only add insult to injury. You may now enter the Grand Cosmos, okay, with chess parties. And this is where we will leave it for today. Well, I'm glad we got to meet some new friends. I was not ready for another dungeon, but we made it through eventually. So I'm happy about that. And I'm excited to see if we can bring our Scion friends back together in body and soul. But I guess we'll figure that out next time. If you enjoyed yourself, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And go follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram as well. And I will see you next time for more adventures in the first. <laughs>